Okay, so in my first video, I knew that I, I know that I said that I would only be doing two videos, but um, we have run out of time on those, so we're going to do three. Um, I talked a lot at the beginning of them, so um, forgive me. Let's just move on. Um, so I went over five problems with you, which essentially means you have 50% of your answers correct. Um, remember, there is an answer document, and you need to take a picture of your work. So, so far, you have a 50. You have five more problems to complete. Um, and so on these problems, um, I'm just going to be doing the setup, and you're going to find the, the final answer on your own. Um, but I am going to guide you somewhat through it since it is so new. Um, so just make sure you're paying attention, make sure you're doing the work, and then you will turn in, in at the end of this. So let me skip over to where we left off. Number six. Okay, so we're going to draw a line to um, separate this into two figures here. So here we have, oops, that is not what we want. Um, so here we have a figure one and figure two, which is a rectangle and a trapezoid. Um, at this point, if you think you have it down, um, I would press pause on the video, solve numbers six through 10 and come back to the video and see if you set them up correctly. Okay, so figure one is a, well, if this is the same as this, that means we have a, square on our hands. So figure one is a square, which A equals S squared. So this is your side length. A equals S squared and A equals 16 squared. And then figure two, um, if we have this slant um, and the other one doesn't slant like that, then it is what we call a trapezoid. Okay, so remember I change the trapezoid to where it's dividing by two. So area equals your height, parentheses base one plus base two divided by two. Okay. Um, so let's look at what we have here. We have our base 1, and your base 2 is right here, which if this is 16, that means that this is 16. Um, and then your height of your triangle is right here. Okay, so if the whole thing is 25 and part of it is 16, to get this right here, we would do 25 minus 16. We're going to borrow, again, because the whole thing is 15 and part of it is, six, I mean, 25 and part of it is 16. So, this is 9, so that means our height is 9, okay? So, let's plug in real quick. A equals 9, parentheses, your base 1 was 7, plus your base 2, which is 16, all divided by 2. So, on this one... You're going to start with adding your bases first for order of operations. Okay, so this is what I mean by setting up. Go ahead and press pause. Solve the problem. Remember, we're finding total area. So you're going to add at the end. And then press play when you have finished. Okay, so you should have gotten 359.5 yards squared. Um, if you did not get that, press pause and check my work against yours and find your mistake. Um, moving on. Here. So here it looks like it's going to be a lot like number four, where we have three figures. Um, so right here. Right here. Um, is how we break it up. So here is one, which is a rectangle. Um, if this is seven, if this side right here is seven, then this side right here is seven. Okay. Um, and then here two and figure three. Okay. So if this whole side is seven and this part right here is three, what do you think this purple part is? Whole side is seven. This part right here is three. That makes this purple part. Well, seven minus three is four. Okay. Um, so this is a rectangle because your base here is five and your height is four. 
So we have three, um, three rectangles on your hand. So again, this is like number four. So go ahead and press pause and I want you to solve the whole thing on your own, okay? Press play when you have the total area. So that means you add it at the end. Also, let's talk about this, um, this bottom line right here. So this bottom line right here is 15 and this one right here is five because this is five. I don't know if you noticed, but number one figure and number three figure are the same. So when you get the answer to number one, all you have to do is multiply it by two, okay? And if you didn't understand that, do it all three figures and then you'll figure out what I said at the end. But those are the same. So just to make sure you understand that. Okay, so your total area is 90 feet squared. 90 feet squared. You have three more figures to complete. Um, I'm going to have you do those on your own. Um, and that is this one right here. So if you notice here, you have a um, an arrow. And that arrow is made up of two figures. Figure one would be a rectangle. And figure two would be a triangle. Um, then we have a triangle and semicircle. So for this one, you have area equals pi r squared. And because it's a semicircle, you're going to have to divide by 2 at the end. Um, and then right here, that's just two rectangles. Um, so perfect. Let's go ahead and finish this. You have an answer document and submit your work.